Hi guys, so today I'm going to be doing my July favorites. I can't believe the month of July is almost over. It's craziness to me. Um, I will mention my hair is up in like this little bun thing because it's just not working with me, but I really need to get this video filmed, so I thought I would film it for you, and I'm really excited. I have lots of favorites. I'm also gonna be sharing with you how my New Year's resolutions are going. Um, I think this is really important, and I decided to do it with my favorites just so that every month I just kind of revisit the goals that I set for the month or the year um, and just see how they're going and I can reevaluate them instead of just making them and then nothing happened which I feel like me and a ton of people have done in the past so just make these New Year's resolutions and then just throw them out the window or forget about them and so that's why I think it's important that I go come back every month so we're gonna get into like my beauty favorites and then my random favorites and then we'll do my New Year's resolutions. My first beauty favorite is this Spackle Tinted Under Makeup Primer in Champagne by Laura Geller. Um, I will put, if I can find it, I'll put in a picture from January or February time. Um, this was in my project pan. Um, it didn't get finished, which was fine. And I kind of put it on the back burner because if you watch my June project pan, I was trying to use up the Benefit um, Conceal Holic palette and it had a primer in there in June, but I did use that up. And so I've come back to this. If you can see, there's hardly anything left, but it has looked like this for almost the entire month. It's ridiculous. I was like, I can just finish that real quick before I move. No. It's still going. So it's on my counter. It's definitely what I'm working on to finish because it's such a big package. I do like it. I think it holds on my makeup really well. It does have like a shimmery almost effect to it. I don't know if you can see it in there. Um, and so I want a primer with a little maybe less shimmer though and a little more tint. But I've been really liking this especially in the summertime because my face has just gone crazy um, this month so the next makeup product is a blush and it is the elf baked or not the elf baked the elf blush in candid coral this, this, is, this is actually in my july project pan it looks like this it's gorgeous that is what i have on my cheeks today um I, as well as a um, birch box item actually um, if you watched my July birch box, you probably figured it out, but it's just a really, really light blush, but you can build it up and I really like that. And of course there's pan and that's so exciting. Um, but yeah, so this is what I've been working on this month and I love it. It was just a really easy blush and it went with like the bronzer that I was using. The other thing that I have been loving and been working on um, since probably March or so consistently is the Maybelline Color Tattoo in Badge the Bronze. Um, this is how much I have left. I try to work on like a side, but then the next day I come back and I don't know what side I'm working on. Um, so I've been working on this. This has been a base for months and it's still hanging on um it does i got this quite a while ago and it's had a crack for most of the time i've owned it um, but it's still creamy still works really well but i'm hoping maybe we can work through it by the end of the year um that's kind of my goal with this even though it's not in a project pan or anything like that um, and it's not even in my monthly project pans but it's just been so hard to see progress i think i'm going to put it in a monthly project pan once i hit pan on one of these sides because just right now it's so hard to tell a difference um week to week or month to month really honestly um the next thing i'm not sure if i put in my june favorites but i thought i would mention it again um and this is the last makeup product this is the elf golden bronzer and this was in my June project pan. It's not in my July, but I have been continuing to use this um, just as a kind of all over shimmer, just lightly at the end after most of my makeup's on. And then if I need color down here, I kind of bring it down here if I'm wearing a tank top because um, I got some really weird tan lines going on down there. And this has just worked wonderfully and I hit pan on it. Um, and so I am really excited about this. So, anyways, I hit pan and I've been loving it because it's just, um, 
a really pretty bronzing color. Put it right here if you can see. Like Again, it's something you can build up, but it has a nice shimmer to it, and I just love this. So that those were all of the beauty products, just four quick ones. Um, some random favorites is this house. Oh my gosh, we moved in the middle of July. That's why my videos have been a little sporadic. I've been vlogging pretty much every day. My vlog channel is always linked down below, um, and that kind of keeps you up to date with things. But... Um, yeah, so we moved and I'm in love with it. If you've been following my Instagram, I've been posting some pictures. I posted a picture, I believe, of the kitchen and the backyard, I think. This room is not done. Um, it's slowly and steadily coming along because another favorite is my classroom. I worked in my classroom a little bit in June and then I've worked on it in July and been gathering things for it. And I actually went and worked on it today. Um, and so that's been another favorite. And I'm going to have meetings tomorrow about the second grade life. So that's really exciting. Um, so yeah, that's been another favorite. So I've been trying to get both of these things put together. And so yeah, that is, these those have definitely been my favorites this month. And I'm just so excited to be in this house. I love it. Um, yeah, so there's that. Those are my favorites for the month, I suppose. Now for my New Year's resolutions. My New Year's resolutions, I had two main, I guess, resolutions. One was about decluttering, um, and then one was just about me, becoming a better me. What that meant at the beginning of the year, I wasn't sure. Honestly, at the beginning of the year, I had no idea where I would be right now. Um, there were lots of different job opportunities, but what made most sense to us is to come back to our hometown for a little while because um, that's where we are. Um, so I had no idea where we would be and so I didn't, I couldn't say I want to work out five days a week. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. So I just made a basic goal of work on myself. There's definitely some things that I um, need to work on for myself um, and I actually have gotten medicine for one of those things which is a step in the right direction um so yeah that's not this i mean that is a step in the right direction because it helps my mind just think clearly i suppose um and then i think just being busy being in our own house it's just really helped me um do that as well um because i can be by myself which a lot of times is you know, for some people, not very good thing, but for me, it is. I can get lost in myself, which, you know, sounds terrible, but I get lost in, like, cleaning or YouTube or this or that, and I'm not reminded of anything versus if I'm in a house full of people, I'm reminded of things. I have to be more cautious about people, and it helps me being by myself, which is kind of weird, I feel like, but it, I've... But since we've moved, I felt so much better. Um, we got the exercise room completed. If you watched um, my vlog a few days ago, I believe. Um, or maybe the one that's going upstairs. I'm not really sure. Um, but we got our exercise room completed. Um, we have a few more little things to do in there. And so that's going to be really helpful. I'm going to try to set a goal for that. Um, working out because that is something I want to work on. And one of my goals um, is to be more toned and things like that. Um, as the other goal, which was decluttering and purchases and stuff like that, I've done a good job this month. Uh, when we moved in, I had I ended up with two huge boxes of things that I just wanted to get rid of. Some of them were clothes, some of them were like kitchen stuff that we didn't need or like storage stuff we didn't need or this or that. And I've given them all pretty much to my in-laws. My mom came and got a few, had, had got a few things. Um, and my in-laws just happened to get them all because they have my husband has three other siblings one is moving out um and then there's other siblings that live there so um it, it worked out so they took most of it and my friend i think took a few but i'm just so excited about that and i've been really working on using up 
my makeup. My empties are humongous this month and I'm so excited about that. Um, and I'm going to start a new project pan on top of my monthly project pans. Um, just it's more of a specific one um, and a timed one and things like that because um, I'm just again trying out different formats to see what works best for me and I feel like I am decluttering and I've been trying to get rid of clothes that don't fit right even though I love them um, I got rid of a tank top that I've been holding on to forever and it's just my body proportions just don't work with it um, even if I got toned because there's a few shirts that I don't like tight shirts because of my non-tonedness. Um, I know people always say I'm thin, but that's because I know how to dress my body. Um, if I, there are certain shirts that I don't wear because they don't look good on my body. So, um, but I really like them. And so I want to get toned in those certain areas so that I can wear those shirts. But um, I'm giving myself basically a year and then when every time I wear a shirt, um, it's mainly shirts and dresses just because they're on hangers, but I'm just going to turn the hanger around. Do it for a full year um, and see what I'm left with. I'm doing the same thing with my husband. He doesn't really know about it. Um, I told him about it, but I don't know if he remembers. He's probably going to be really confused on why his hangers are upside down and he might not even remember or like backwards. He might not even notice. Who knows? We're going to find out because he always tells me there's a few shirts. Um, he has a lot less clothes than I do, but there are still shirts in his closet that I know he doesn't wear, but he tells me he wears them or he wants to wear them or he might wear them, but I know he doesn't. So I'm going to do this and show him that he does not wear them in a year and maybe get rid of like half of them. So anyways, that's kind of my decluttering and my favorites. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know if you're doing a project pan declutter or anything like that because um, I've been really watching those a lot. Um, I can't get rid of my makeup. I personally like can't give it away. Um, I have to use it up and so I'm really excited um, to be using up my makeup and so yeah, I will talk to you all later. Have a great day. Bye.